We live in a community that really devalues people who use drugs and really takes away from them their social credibility. And, and so Voices of Hope is the community for them. It's about creating a space of belongingness for them. Primarily what we do is pr provide a space for belongingness and connection. We do a lot of other things, but that's where it begins. So we host dozens and dozens of different meetings that support various pathways of recovery. So we support them right where they are. We have more than 100 staff at Voices, and all of our staff are people in recovery. Who, that's their main credential. They're not social workers, they're not clinicians. They have lived experience, and they use that experience to build rapport with participants and meet the needs that they have. We, we can never do enough. I co-teach a class in the Honors College, and it's called Addiction to Chronic Disorder. I mean, we bring in um, a multitude of guest speakers because we have so many connections here in the community so we can bring people to talk about all these special issues. We bring in lots of people with lived experience who have taken different pathways of recovery to help students understand what abstinence looks like, what using a medication for opioid use disorder might look like. I think there's no single job on the planet better suited for me than exactly the job that I have. I'm really grateful for what the University of Kentucky has done. University of Kentucky, from the beginning, um, supported me and supported recovery. And I, I never experienced stigma, I never experienced shame from the university. I always saw university leadership that said this is an issue that we want to get behind. <laughs>